And the news station also at an Opelaka apartment building, the scene of a double shooting that wounded an eight-year-old girl and a man. The child was inside her home, the adult outside, when shots from a drive-by ran out. Seven's Katrina Bush is live at Jackson Hospital, where they're being treated with an update on the search for the shooter. Katrina? Well, investigators tell us the eight-year-old victim was grazed by a bullet in this shooting. Neighbors tell us they do not believe the little girl or her family will be returning to that community, at least not for now. Bullet holes left behind in the windows, doors, and walls at an Opalaka apartment complex Thursday morning. It is the scene of a Wednesday night double shooting. It definitely appears that it may have been more than one shooter. One of the victims, an eight-year-old girl. It's very unfortunate for, for something like this to happen. We have a, a young girl, um, very innocent, you know, the age of eight years old, inside of her home, um, not doing anything, preparing. Uh, for school. Police say the other victim, a man, was standing on a second story balcony when he was hit. It happened on Port Said Road, not far from Northwest 135th Street. Calls coming in around 10 p.m. Wednesday reporting a drive by shooting. From what we gather, the subjects basically were shooting from the outside of the Glorieta apartments on Port Said Road. So the shooting took place there, and they basically shot into the complex where bullets struck, struck the apartment building. That senior citizens and tenants, we're getting tired. It's been too many murders around here, too many shootings. You don't know if you're safe walking out. Well, if you have any information you think could help detectives in this case, you're urged to call Opelaka police right away. We're live in Miami. Katrina Bush, 7 News.